da 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 Before I start the next video, let me explain what it is about. While I was producing videos recommending podcasts and YouTube channels, I had too much material or material I wasn't confident about sharing. So, I made a two-part video about those podcasts. This week, I am showing you part one. Also, I am giving you your homework now, but please watch the video to the end. Your homework is to tell me which podcast I recommended you have tried. Remember, I have introduced new podcasts since I gave you this homework back in January. Or you can recommend a YouTube channel. Any channel is okay. It doesn't have to be only about English lessons, but it has to be in English. Please explain why you recommend it in full sentences. Now, on to the video. There is a podcast that is very, very popular out there. A lot of people download it, listen to it. I really don't recommend this podcast for several reasons, and I'm talking about the Effortless English Podcast. Effortless English Podcast with AJ Hogue. It is a very long podcast. Each episode is about an hour to an hour and a half. And in the previous podcast that I told you, there were advertisements pro promoting some sort of a course or materials or lessons. And that's sort of a necessary thing to fund and, and make a podcast possible. This podcast, Effortless English, it tries to persuade you that there is an English learning system. There's a way for you to learn English quickly and become fluent very fast. The problem with this podcast is it's not an English lesson. There's, an, there's no grammar or vocabulary or expressions, useful expressions you can learn from the episodes. The show notes in the episodes don't talk about the English that you need to learn. It's all commercials. It's all advertisements to encourage you to buy a course, to pay for a lesson. While a little bit of it is okay, it's kind of a necessary thing, all of the podcast is about this. And the thing that really makes me a little nervous about this podcast is they are not English lessons. It's marketed as, this is a way you can learn English, but they, but it's not. Each episode is one person, the host, spending an hour trying to encourage you to be a better person, but a better person from his point of view. He is what we commonly call a motivational speaker. A motivational speaker is someone who is paid to come to your company or to your community center or organization and give lectures on how to develop your mind or your spirit to be more positive and be more successful. How can you get rich? Well, the reason why you're not rich is because it's you. You're the reason you're not rich. Why aren't you happy in your relationships? Well, it's all about you. If you can find the power and the strength and the energy, then, then you will find that success. You can make your relationships happier. You can do it. And of course, we realize in real life, it's a lot more complicated than that. Your life is not going to change because someone else told you directly, hey, I can make your life better, but you have to do it. And the best way for you to do it is to buy my course for the low, low price of 10,000 US dollars. 
And if you listen to the course, you will magically become fluent in English. And someday you can become a king of Canada or the queen of America or the president of the North Pole. No amount of money is going to do that. And your English is not going to get better because you spent a lot of money paying one person for a podcast. Your English is going to get better because you spent a lot of money for teachers to help guide you in a good direction where you're going to make steady progress in your English until you are confident enough to be able to speak without being afraid of making mistakes, even though you are going to make some. And as you practice more and more, and with more coaching and more training, more practice, those mistakes are going to get fewer and fewer and fewer. You're not going to be fluent in English because you're listening to one person's podcast and they say so. Your English listening skills will improve a lot better if you listen to podcasts that have guided, structured English lessons and give examples of how to use that English. All Ears English Podcast definitely does that. Espresso English definitely does that. And Effortless English with AJ Hoag does the opposite of that, which is not what you want. The next podcast I want to talk about is it's an interesting one which is why I'm leaving it for last. It is basically, in a very simple way, it is an advertisement, a commercial for a coaching course. The person who is the, the head honcho, the boss, every week he does a podcast about a phrase or a word or a combination of words, different words that are confusing. Every week he does some small piece of English language, but he does it in a way that sounds like it's a radio show. Like remember back when we used to have radios. Do you remember that? Do you, do you remember what a radio is? <laughs> in the old days, uh, we had something called talk radio. At the top of the hour, you know, three o'clock or six o'clock, uh, there would be someone who would just talk about some issue of the day on the radio. And they had a very specific sound. So when North Americans hear this sound, when they hear someone talk on a podcast or on YouTube, and they hear this kind of sound, their, their memory goes immediately to the old days when they listened to the radio and listened to radio show hosts. And that is exactly what the host of this podcast called Easy English Expression, but more famously, Coach Shane's Daily Podcasts. I know, it's a little confusing, the main podcast is called Easy English Expressions. The host of the show sometimes markets it as Coach Shane's daily podcast. He also does a YouTube video at the same time he's recording the podcast. So I encourage you to go to uh, Coach Shane's daily podcast on YouTube. Just look for that, Coach Shane's daily podcast, and you'll find his videos. And it, it's, it'll be up to you if you want to watch the videos or if you want to listen to the podcast. And you can do, just do a search. It'll be there. Either one, easy English expressions. The thing you should know about this podcast is it's not structured like an English lesson. And let me explain what I mean and why I put this recommendation last. Um, he should be breaking down the lesson material, the phrase or the vocabulary. But what he does is he gives lots and lots of examples and he tends to uh, entertain himself at the same time. He gets a little excited, or maybe a little too excited about his own examples, and he tries to be a little funny. And another thing is he does something that the old-time radio hosts used to do, which is put sound clips into the episode to try to add a little bit of color or flavor to the episodes. And that's, um, I don't know, uh, most of the English learning podcasts, they don't put sound effects or special effects into their podcasts, 
but he definitely does. And here's the thing. I certainly would never do that. I would never put any sort of special effects or sound crazy sound things into my own podcasts or videos to try to make them more interesting. I am a very straightforward person when it comes to making these videos.